that they didn't really like scorpions, but maybe fate said, Are you sure you don't want any scorpions? Even a level 120? Oh my goodness, I definitely want that. Hey guys, it's the Clumsy Geek, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved here on the Dino Realm server. Now, in the previous episode, we captured that big lady over there, and partly it was thanks to our new Quetzal over here. And I told you that I was going to share how I got her, or him. Is it a her or a him? It's a him, and his name is Gift. Actually, hmm, yeah, so the story is, if you notice, Jamie is nowhere to be found, oh, and unfortunately, she was killed in action. She died battling an Alpha Carno. Well, actually, she was murdered by an Alpha Carno because she was unpassive. And I left her outside the base to do some harvesting. And then I got killed by an Alpha Carno. And she got killed by an Alpha Carno. So Jamie is no more. And to honor her memory, let's maybe put a gra gravestone here. So she will always be with us. Let's take a moment just to honor her service Jamie uh, R.I.P. Jamie yeah it was sad I really liked her but uh, gladly Zog helped us out and Zog gave us a new Quetzal because he had a lot of uh, extra quetzals he was doing some breeding as you can see there there are lots there there are a couple there for from lilac as well and uh, he had an extra one so he gave me this one gift so actually let me rename him just a little bit of renaming here because there is no gift like the present <laughs> i don't know <laughs> doesn't make sense but yeah it's present and he is a very capable guy. So 7,800 health. Um, melee is now almost 800%. Movement speed is 160%. And weight, this is what I'm pumping. So I can make him both as a battle dino and as a cargo dino. So this should be amazing. Yeah. Alright. And a few updates to the base as well. So in the past few episodes, we had this workshop made and now I put in some lights here. Well, this was here before. I put another one here and actually I created some wiring below. So the generator is here, right? So it connects to here now, all the way here in the middle. And then I have an intersection, which doesn't really look nice on this part, but it's okay. And it goes to here, branches out, branches out again, to the left side to connect to the left, to this lamppost, and to the other side, which connects to the other lamppost. And it just so happened that they line up perfectly with the pillars. It looks really nice in my opinion. It's very clean, uh, except for the, this part over here. And if you look here up top, the lights are connected to the boxes, what they call those, electric boxes, through these wires, which doesn't look that bad at all. Even here on this side. That's nice. So at night, my base lights up pretty well. Maybe I'll be able to show that later once it turns to night. And I also just put one here, just so the house is a bit lit up as well. Right. So that was a preview of the updates in my base and the sad passing of Jamie and what happened. But we will get more dinos and uh, 
she will always be remembered. Okay. But for this episode, if you notice, I have a lot of uh, birds. I really like flying dinos because they're very convenient. Can go anywhere and they can also battle. But sometimes, nothing beats a good old land dino. So in this episode, I'm planning to actually get some. In particular, maybe we can breed. I know Zog got a few Rexes in the meantime. And I'm not sure who is the real high level here. So these two guys, 130 and 177. So Manny, I'm assuming is male. Yes, and Patty is female. Let me start breeding them. And just, oh, stop there. There we go. Alright, they should be dropping any second now. Should be. Oh, there we go. Right, perfect, perfect. Let's go get it. Oh, yeah. Oh, stop, stop. Stop, stop. And I'm lagging. Just perfect. <laughs> disable, disable. Okay. Nice. Did that work? Did that work? Disable, disable. Okay, perfect. And she will be ready to mate in 9 hours. Alright, that's not a problem. So we have the mating mm, timers shortened. So we can breed more dinos. That is perfect though. Alright, so now we have the egg. Let's see. This girl or guy, we don't know yet, weighs 15 pounds. So let's go ahead and incubate it. I wonder if anyone's using it right now. I don't think so. Let's turn on the generator. Sorry for the noise. And this is the incubator from Zog. So thanks again, Zog. And it's incubating. Woo, cool. Alright. So I'll work on this. And I'll bring you guys back when we are ready for the hatching. See you guys in a bit. What a pleasant surprise! Lilac dropped by and she was breeding some RGs and she gave us this one, Cody, which has the same exact colors as Jamie. Oh, perfect! Thank you! Thanks, Lilac! So, our new guy looks exactly like Jamie and Let's keep his name. Cody sounds like a good name. So let's just make this CG. Cody. Thanks, Lilac. Oh, Jamie would be very happy. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I've been checking on the egg and it's gonna take quite some time for it to hatch. So I thought might as well take Cody for a spin and level him up a bit. And we will get some. Oh, 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 what is that? Alpha Raptor level 12. Might as well get some wheat, meat out of it to feed our soon to be hatched Rex. And let's look at our base here at night. This is perfect. So let me go back to normal gamma. And you can see the light over here. Looks kind of nice, doesn't it? Looks really technological and stuff. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Alright, reinforcements have arrived. We are now on present, which is our level 103 Quetzal. This should be no problem. And I really love these glows by the alphas. It makes it very easy to find them. Because it's single player, where I was used to. There was no glow like this before. Eat that, eat everything in sight. Can you handle it? Yes, you can for sure. Come on. Come on, you can do it. I think I'm seeing blood on the raptor. Should be no problem. What level was it again? Not sure. There we go, perfect. Did we get anything out of that? I don't think we did. Let's see. Uh, access inventory. Primitive. 
Oh, come on. Apprentice. We all we have a journeyman though, so it's not as good. A ramshackle bow, a journeyman bow. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. Yeah, let's get that anyway. Oh, an apprentice cloth hat. That's nice. What? A Dillo. Come on, Dillo. There we go. Thank you. We are almost there, guys. Just look at that. Should be any second now. Let's go and wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. Oh, yes. Wow, he's kind of big. Uh, BB Rex, level 131. Not bad. Imprint. Nice. And let's get some meat on him. Okay, five meat would be good. Can you follow me? Would you fit in the door? It's so cute. Just look at that. It doesn't seem to be following me though. Is it kind of stuck? Or something? Oh no, no, it's there. Oh no. The only problem is Rexes have very bad turning rages. But I think he will manage. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Perfect. Oh, it's so cute. Just look at that. It's a female. It's a she. Oh, we will be breeding you. What was that? There's water here? Yeah, there seems to be. <laughs> Invisible water. But yeah, just look at that. It's so cute. It's so small and tiny and helpless. Let's take a screenshot. Okay, so do you need some more meat? Yes, you do. Alright. So let me handle this girl. And uh, let's see her grow. Come here. There seems to be a problem with following. She doesn't seem to follow that much. Or maybe she's just that slow. Ah, she might be encumbered. <laughs> Is that such a thing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, it looks like it. Is she walking or something? Come here. Oh, there she is. Okay, now she can walk. <laughs> it's so cute. Let's let's put her right next to Victory over there. <laughs> come here, come here. You can do it. <laughs> let's take off that. There we go. Is that cute? <laughs> it's so cute how it walks. <laughs> right now it's cute, but when it grows, it'll be terrifying. Whoa, what if we put it right next to our lady over here? How about next to Dillos? Oh, with a flag there? Okay. <laughs> it's almost Dillos size. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Is it, like, growing already? Not sure. There you go. That should keep you fed, more or less. <laughs> Let's get right next to this guy. This... Is this a guy, even? No, oh, it's a female. Alright, females. <laughs> You're not even the size of its foot. Come here, let's see. <laughs> yeah, you're so small. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's so cute. I think it's my first time breeding a Rex. And look at those little arms, those tiny arms. <laughs> oh. Okay, <laughs> okay. So let me grow this girl and I'll be right back when there's progress. Oh, this is gonna take some time. Look at that progress bar. Okay, guys, I'll see you in a bit. Alright, guys, she is now a juvenile, and she has grown a bit. Still not that big, but she is now like uh, raptor size, I may say so. Mm hmm. And now she's eating off a trough, a feeding trough, which has quite a number of food. I think this should be enough. 
And she has some extra just in case. But in the meantime, let's look at her stats. Health is 5k, that's very good. Stamina is 1k, I think that's very high for her Rex. Weight is 700, not bad. And melee damage is 315. That's good, actually. Level 131, not bad at all. Okay, perfect. Uh, now, this is gonna take a while, so I might as well do the most out of it. Actually, I have been harvesting stuff. Like, I'm re refining metal over here. I am creating oil, or rather gasoline, over here by mixing oil and hide. And I've been gathering some flint and stone spark powder and mixing that with charcoal to make some gunpowder. Because pretty soon, I'm hoping, or at least the plan is, to finally switch over to the rifles and phase out the crossbows. Um, I'm not sure how feasible that will be. Because first and foremost, we have to find a good rifle. Right now, we have a journeyman crossbow. So I think it'll be hard to replace that with a primitive rifle. It might not be as strong. So I'll be on the lookout. I'll look at some... I'll go and find some supply drops and try and find some alphas to kill. And maybe we'll get lucky with a rifle. With a ramshackle, apprentice, journeyman, or even mastercraft. I don't know but we'll see for now our juvenile rex is okay hanging in there and now i'll go and find some levels and items right guys see you in a bit my oh my it's a sign guys i am in the northern island and i've been killing stuff all around and um, i decided if i find a high level i'll go and tame it but i didn't really like scorpions but Maybe fate said, are you sure you don't want any scorpions? Even a level 120? Oh my goodness, I definitely want that. So let's go and get this girl. Did I get her? Yes, I think that's the right one. Yes, and we'll go back to base. Tame this girl up. Level 120. Maybe we even need some kibble. Let's see. Okay, I am back at base. I still have the scorpion with me. The trick here is how I can shoot that inside the taming pen. Hmm. There. Oh, perfect. Yes, great. Okay, that works. Yes, that works. Perfect. It's a bit wonky. But it should work. <laughs> and I just have been researching a bit. Turns out there is no kibble for scorpions. And we cannot even use prime meat, so we have to be happy with spoiled meat. Not sure if that will be enough. Can you reach me? You look kind of bigger from this angle. Oh, oh I should wait 5 seconds in between. can do this. Oh, it's down. That was kind of fast. Nice, perfect. Okay, I have lots of spoiled meat here. Where is that? How are you, Juvenile Rex? You are doing fine. Still a ways off, but we will get you. Hey, ow, 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 tail. Okay. Uh, spoiled meat, perfect. We have all the spoiled meat we need. Okay, let's check up on that scorpion. Where are you? Wow, you're a big girl. Okay. Unconscious, good. Spoiled meat. Spoiled meat is spoiled. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, I don't think we will be able to perfect tame this. Or maybe this is the perfect tame for scorpions. Pulmina Scorpius. Let's see how much one feeding gives. Oh, that's very good. That is perfect. Alright, I'll be right back when this is ready. 
Well, well, well. Look what we found here. An apprentice saddle. Or a scorpion. I can't remember who found it. Maybe it was me or someone else. But regardless, let's build it. So what do we need? We need a... Uh... Alright, now we can build it. Crafting up. Nice. And I even have some extra fiber. Let's toss that there. Nice. Oh, she's almost there. Yeah, she lost one level already. Look at that. Maximum is plus 59, right? But I guess we can't do anything about that. It's just the way scorpions are. They don't have any kibble. And spoiled meat is the best we can give them. Yep, that should be good. Alright. Oh, we should be very near. Once this hits 4-6, we should have her. Level 120. Oh my goodness, we are starting with the perfect tames. Plus 57 levels, that's not bad at all. Come on, let's do it. Yes, there we go. Uh, I don't have a name. Name, name, name. Uh, CG. Uh, queen. I don't know. <laughs> Just, it's the queen. <laughs> it's level 120. Alright, and let's give you the saddle. So let's test it out. Nothing but the best for the queen. There we go. Looks good on you. Oh, I like it. Can you close that from here? Nice. And she seems very fast. Oh, movement speed is 200%. Alright. Uh, so, so she is level 177 by default. Health is 2k. Stamina is 520. Weight is 324. Melee damage is 331. So definitely... We will increase the health a bit, but most of the points here will go to melee damage for knockout purposes. Oh, I'm so excited to level this. Okay, let's place queen here. And she should be okay. Oh, turn off follow. And our rex here is still quite a ways off. But I guess that's all we have for this episode. Um, we did manage to do a lot of things. First of all, we bred a Rex, and she is now juvenile. And then we leveled a bit, we killed an Alpha Raptor, and we got a perfect tame Scorpion right there. I can't even say their name. Pulmino Scorpius. Something. Alright. But yeah, that's quite an achievement for today. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates. Alright? So this is the Clumsy Geek signing off. Thanks for watching and have a nice day guys. Bye bye.